I feel like a lot of the time students don't really feel comfortable talking to staff members, especially if it's just a classroom teacher. We don't necessarily feel like we have that kind of personal connection with them in order to just talk about what's going on in our lives and what's concerning us. And with guidance counsellors, there's a lot of fear of being reported or thinking that the guidance counsel is just going to tell your parents everything, which a lot of the time isn't necessarily true. The main reason I've heard about is fear of like the confidentiality being broken. Mm -hmm. If what you're telling them, the information you're telling them is just dismissed as well, like that's also a, a fear. You'll kind of be shut down as like, a, oh, well, you should just be able to handle whatever you're going through. Or like, if it's something about, oh, I feel like overworked, it'll be, oh, well, you should balance your time better, or if you're feeling stressed, it, there's a lot of like throwaway r lines about, but you don't have anything to stress about and things like yeah. that. Like you're scared you won't get a real response or actual understanding from them. A lot of people think that their issues aren't big enough. No, like no matter how small that issue is, it's important. Every issue is important and needs to be talked about. And students often don't understand that. The teachers need to solidify that idea that it's okay to ask for help and it's okay to come to them. As a staff member, in order to support a student, you should just get down on their level, talk to us like we're equals and like we're humans and just find out about our situation, what we're going through and what we're experiencing. And don't just ignore it, like actually genuinely come and check up on us and ask us how we're doing or if we've opened up to you let us know like what's going to happen with the next step even before you know if we come and say like maybe we're going to tell you something that may be a bit out of our normal classroom conversation i want this to stay as much between us but the teacher then can tell us like you know i still have a duty of care but i'll keep you informed of the process i think a way to support students without like crossing that line of like going into their privacy is just show that you're there for them but also let them do the leading. They should ask the question, okay what do you want me to do about it, what type of support do you need, um, I'm here, like just letting the student know that they're here to help and they're a person they can trust. I believe asking for a preference from a student is very important when it comes to supporting students' well mental health and well-being because a lot of students will often want to keep it private and not announce it to the schools and the teachers and the other students in their class. While some others may feel more comfortable if other students knew about their issue or like perhaps it's anxiety, maybe they would feel better if other people knew that. Schools can support students' mental health and well-being by creating a whole bunch of different safe spaces. So for example, something that's in my school that I know has worked quite well is what we call a student well-being centre, which is just a place where we can go, we can talk to someone like a pastoral leader or a house leader, just about whatever's going on, just to unwind. We can sit there, do our work in the quiet and it's just, it's really beneficial for a lot of students. Schools could also um, come up with a plan within their own schools um, to allow students to actually like have that connection in a classroom where they can leave a class if they are feeling like they're anxious or just for any reason that they need to get out of that space, even if it's for 10 minutes or whether it's like the whole class, just to have somewhere to go and take a breather from that classroom like space. I think a digital platform could be really helpful because yeah. a lot of things these days are digital, especially with recently having to go in and out of online learning. Mm -hmm. Students are a lot more readily able to adapt to things that are online. So if there was an online platform or a service where we could meet other people or just receive like resources or anything about how to help us, I think that would be really beneficial. We need to be able to talk about mental health openly and everyone needs to know how to nurture and care for their mental health while also knowing the difference between mental health and mental illness and when it becomes an issue and a possible illness that can arise. Mm -hmm.